Especially coming off the road, which you like starting, and it kind of builds that uh, anticipation for the first one at home, and, and there's a real excitement in the morning, and it'll just build all day. Uh, updates on Montour and Eklat after? I, I don't have them in tonight. Uh, Monty, uh, we, we expect him to be full practice tomorrow. And Kirsten getting an opportunity getting in there. Yeah, he had come off uh, injury, had had a good camp. He just missed a block of time because of it, uh, so he'll go in tonight. Yeah. Is Lucas Carlson going to make it in time? Correct. Uh, two guys, obviously hungry, two guys that just missed out on those starting spots. Yep. What do you expect from them? All real competition, right? you got three guys in that lineup that when your group's healthy would be fighting for one spot. So they'll, 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 they won't be, uh, they'll be nervous before the game, which is good. They'll be wired up for it. They get the home opener, but also there's a real competition in their minds. So we'll expect them to play at a real high level. Looking across the ice, the Flyers, a surprising 3-0 and coming off a big win against Tampa. Just what do you see national, uh, towards coach team? Yeah, National Hockey League's pretty honest game, right? If you work that hard, you have good success. So uh, going back to when Torts was in Tampa and we were in Carolina, I mean, and nobody watched those games. They were always hard, grinding games by both teams. Some great hockey. I expect that tonight. Though, uh, you know, they should feel confident and feel strong. And they get more aggressive kind of in each game as their confidence grows. Uh, even in game, as uh, the, you know, the confidence in their game last night grew, and they're a hard for checking team. So, it'll be a good one tonight. Well, it seems like in the Brooklyn League, not just the Philly game against Tampa, but teams are playing sixty, <coughs> and they have to play sixty minutes because teams aren't giving up, teams aren't surrendering when they're down. No, I think you're right, and I think it is is part of that new NHL. So I don't know exactly when it started happening, but. There used to be a time that a one goal lead was over after the second period, and, and you weren't even getting a chance, right? But I think some of that had to do with the rule changes, even in 06, where you were still able to generate offense. You couldn't clutch and grab a game and grind it right out. But then we saw uh, just a whole bunch, and certainly in Florida last year, but in the last five or six years, the number of goals that teams can come back from now, the game's just not over. Coach, now that you've had a couple of regular season games, what was it that defined the way you? Practice leading up to the start of the season that has carried over into the way you've seen this team. I, I liked a lot of our. I think the best parts were third periods in in tight games that we were able to manage, and even more in Buffalo than we did in the island where we handled the puck. We still were aggressive and and uh, had some of our best offensive in that time, uh, but didn't I, I thought especially in Buffalo we got real strong in the last ten minutes. I think. Uh, the special teams part, I, our power play didn't put up the numbers we'd wanted to in Boston, but the chances there are like where a penalty kills at. So a lot of the structure details I, I, we've been pretty pleased with. You got oh. Eric Stahl out there today. Was there a roster move that was able to be made to get him out there? So I think you guys are going to talk to Bill after here, and he's going <laughs> to take you through the logistics of all things that in the new NHL. So I'm not giving out bad information. Why don't you fire that one at him? <laughs> oh. I'm just, it's an education for me on how all this stuff works. Uh, oh, back with, uh, Mon with no Montour, no Eklav, right. just two of your top defense and both of them on power play one, right. just the challenges of not having both them when your D core was already. So it's it it's a challenge, but we've got some really good forwards, so we've got people to fill in those holes. And it, it's, it's a good thing to go through this adversity because you get to look at things. What happens if? What happens if this in a critical game to make the playoffs or in a playoff series, you lost a couple of defensemen and, and you would have a plan already that we've worked on, that we've used. So you got to take a look at it as an opportunity. Every single team in the NHL usually faces some significant uh, adversity and it helps define them. So we're shying away from this. We'll see a, a different look on our power play tonight and we expect it to be good. Is that going to be the five forward look? We oh, well, you can't give all the pre scout. <laughs> yeah, it's a possibility, right? You saw it last game, so there might be something there. We've got a bunch of different options. And uh, goalie so, for tonight? Yeah, Bob's playing tonight. Then you get that because it's the home opener. It's a little, <laughs> little gift, a little home opener gift for everybody. When you start a year, when you start a season, you're always worried about five or six goals. You're right. Can that, could you find that that's where it comes to the bond and experience? Yeah, it. it, it these guys are kind of separated all summer, and then you come back. And even in training camp, you got two groups, you got a lot of bodies, and we did have a bunch of injuries in training camp. So we had two days, I think, of practice of our actual group. And so they, they didn't get to spend a lot of time together because of that. And then you get them on the road, and, uh, and they have a lot of fun, and they travel together, and they eat dinner together. And it, it's really important for those guys to get together. It also it helps build the anticipation for this. Like the season started and we still haven't had our opener. It's kind of exciting for us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.